What you see over here is um, a water molecule and you can see the red uh, colored um, oxygen atom and the two hydrogen atoms. You can also see that the hydrogen atoms are positively charged and the oxygen is negatively charged. And uh, this uh, small uh, delta sign over here, this uh, refers uh, to a so-called a partial charge. So uh, the water molecule is not fully negatively charged here at the oxygen and not fully positively charged over here, but only partially. And uh, because we have over here a uh, negatively charged uh, oxygen from another um, water molecule, we see these dotted lines over here and these dotted lines are supposed to represent um, hydrogen bonds and I'm just going to label this here as well. These are our hydrogen bonds. And these hydrogen bonds are much weaker than the covalent bonds which hold the hydrogens and the oxygens together. So within the molecule over here you have covalent bonds, they are pretty strong. Um, and the hydrogen bonds, they are somewhat weaker. And what they do is, is they break and reform between the water molecules and this makes uh, water liquid. Now because water carries a charge, um, it is referred to a so-called a polar molecule and polarity is a characteristic of a substance which carries a charge. And uh, you can quite easily see that water carries both positive and negative charge. Uh, and I'm going to show you now an example of a molecule uh, which only carries a positive charge, um, sodium for example. It's not a molecule, it's an ion, it's, a, it's an atom, okay, which carries a charge. I don't know if I just said molecule, um, it's an um, ion and this is not, it's polar. Um, for sure, because it carries a positively charged, but it is not a dipole. And uh, water is a dipole or a dipole, um, and that's a molecule that carries both a positive and a negative charge, um, but uh, uh, sodium is not a, does not only carry a positive charge, therefore it is polar, but it's not a dipole. And last but not least, uh, the term electronegativity is important. And uh, the electronegativity is the tendency of an atom to attract electrons. Now I'm going to uh, simply illustrate this right now because uh, electronegativity is actually the reason why the oxygen here is negatively charged and the hydrogens are positively charged. And I'm going to simply redraw the whole thing. I'm going to draw over here, I'm going to draw the oxygen and the two hydrogens. Of course, you notice that uh, the bonds which connect the oxygen and the hydrogens are at an angle. And uh, what now happens is the following, if my, uh, this is the laser pointer, if the laser pointer uh, should represent um, an electron, uh, then it's circling uh, the oxygen atom, but it's uh, spending more time around the oxygen atom than the hydrogens. So essentially, occasionally, it's, um, it goes over to the hydrogen, and, but it spends most of the time around oxygen. I don't know if it's better, maybe I should just simply draw this. So over here, if, if this is basically now... I'm now the electron, the electron is flying around the oxygen, making it negative. Occasionally it flies over to the hydrogen as well. But because the electrons are negatively charged, the oxygen is now more negatively charged than the hydrogens. And that's why we have this partial charge, the Greek delta, uh, making the uh, up, making, uh, making it negative over here. And over here, the hydrogens are slightly positively charged. Overall, um, overall, the water molecule is neutral because this negative charge appears the same as both positive charges down here. Okay, so uh, that is basically, uh, yeah, almost, almost it. It just wants to uh, make something clear because sometimes um, at um, you know, examinations they ask that. And, ooh, okay, no, 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 I do not want to exit over here. Okay, I'm gonna keep these annotations, but basically the point that I tried to make is, um, oh, I wanna close this. You see, I just installed the new windows over here, and the problem is, is I still have problems uh, making it uh, making it run properly. So hmm, if I keep it or discard it, then everything's closed. But essentially what I just wanna make clear is, is that just make sure that, the, that you always understand that the hydrogens over here, um, at uh, the hydrogens, uh, around here um, at uh, the electrons around the hydrogens and the, um, are attracted to the oxygen and not the hydrogens to each other. That's basically what I just wanted to say. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna keep this right now and just hope for the best.